Okay, so I just picked up this uh, Milwaukee Fuel oscillating kit, the 2836-21. I'm going to open it up. Right now, Home Depot has it on. The Bear Tool is $298 in Canada. And the, uh, the kit with the 5 amp hour battery is on sale for $328. So I figured it was a no-brainer. Pay the extra $32 and uh, get the kit. Or the extra $30 and get the kit. I don't, don't judge me on my math. So it's kind of neat. Box empty. You get this bag. Let's see what we got going on inside here. Looks like we get the, uh, the fuel oscillating tool. I don't know how many you guys use this, but this is probably my second most used tool in my, uh, my kit. I have the regular non-fuel version, which I actually ended up finally damaging. So we got the little sander set up for it. <clears throat> Looks like we got the charger. And this sweet little 5 amp hour battery. Nice brand spanking new 5 amp hour battery. This made the kit worth it. And then of course it comes with some extra blades that we got sitting here. Alright. Let's see if there's even any juice in this battery. Wow. One thing is uh, it's a little bit quieter than the other one. Oh, I like that LED light on it too. That's pretty sweet. Let's see how... Uh, one thing I noticed is the uh, quick change release is a lot smaller than uh, my other one. Oh, I like that. Look at that. Little four magnets. Put that guy on there. You ever try putting your blade on one of your tools and the, mag and the blade just keeps falling off? That's pretty sweet. Get her in there. Let's tighten her down. That's not too bad. A little bit louder with the blade on there, but let's just see what we got going on here. Just cut a little corner out. Well, you see that? Turns up and down on its own. The okay, that was kind of a sick feature that I didn't realize this had, that uh, the speed increased when it started getting tougher, so it's an automatic increase in speed. That's actually really sick, too. Um, uh, okay, so that was, uh, <laughs> I'm going to say so far, this is pretty cool. And um, like I said, this is probably the second most used tool in my uh, inventory. The first being my impact gun uh, for power tools. I, I've used my uh, M12 impact gun probably 99% of the time. And then this guy here, I, I pull out probably, I couldn't even tell you, several times a week easily. So that's kind of really cool. Liking it. I don't know, so far I'm giving this guy a thumbs up.